In this video I'll explain how to add a new variable to a data frame based on other columns that are already existing in this data frame. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and two columns, which are called X1 and X2. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to add a new variable to this data frame based on the two columns that are already existing in our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines five and six. So in line five of the code, I'm first duplicating our data because I want to keep an original version of our data frame. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new one. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same columns and the same values as our input data frame. However, if we run line six of the code, we are creating a new variable, which is called X3. And we are specifying that using the dollar operator. And then after the dollar operator, we are specifying the name of the new variable that we want to create. And then I'm using the assignment operator. And after the assignment operator, I'm specifying what I want to store in the new variable. So in this case, I want to add the values in the first column to the values in the second column. So in other words, the new column X3 should contain the sum of the columns X1 and X2. So if you run line six of the code, our data set is updated. And we can see that by clicking on the data frame at the top right of our studio. So if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our updated data frame. And as you can see, this new data frame contains a new column, which is called X3. And this column contains the sum of the columns X1 and X2. So for instance, the sum of three plus three is equal to six and the sum of four plus one is equal to five. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the dollar operator to add a new variable to a data frame based on other columns. However, it's also possible to use the transform function for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial. So this second example starts in line eight. And in this line of code, I'm again duplicating our data because I want to keep an original version of our input data frame. So if you run line eight of the code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new two. And if we now want to add a new column based on other columns to this data set, we can use the transform function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And within the transform function, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. So in this case, data new two. Then I'm using a comma, and then afterwards I'm specifying the operation that I want to use to create our new variable. So in this case, I want to create a new variable, which is called X3. And this new variable should be equal to the values of X1 plus the values of X2. So I'm basically doing exactly the same as in the first example. However, I'm using the transform function in this second example. So if you run line nine of the code, our data set is updated and we can see that by clicking on the data set at the top right. And then you can see that we have created exactly the same output data frame as in the first example. However, this time we have used the transform function instead of the dollar operator. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to add a new variable to a data frame based on the values that are stored in other columns of this data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you would leave me some positive feedback in the comments. 
and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.